Warning, this video does not contain a do-rag. The contents of this video may seem unfamiliar. Hi, good evening. So stuff has been happening in the world of K-pop. Uh, Girls' Generation had their comeback with Forever One. It was a long time coming. As a Son, as a, I've been calling it Son. It's pronounced So One, and I didn't know that until I heard somebody say it on a YouTube video. And it's, I've been saying it like that for years, which is terrible. But it shows how many So Ones are like busy and doing things that don't necessarily have time to talk about Girls' Generation, or like there, there's not, there was nothing to talk about because they've been gone for five years. However, I mean, Hyoyeon was here, she had her single called Deep, and that was a bop, an absolute bop. So they came back for with Forever One, and honestly, I like the video. I like the song. Um, at first, I was a little bit underwhelmed, I'm gonna be real, but especially with the chorus, I don't know, it felt like Taeyeon was hard carrying it. It almost sounded like a solo, but... But over time, I've come to love it more, and now it gives me pumped, okay? Forever One is a perfect workout song. But immediately what I loved about it is that it gave the bright optimism and the pure fun that K-pop had in the second gen. Very much 2010 vibes. And what I mean by that is fun that doesn't sound um, too systematic, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't sound like, oh, this is the standard summer comeback. It's a chill fun. This, that's how I said Girls' Generation would get away with doing a cute or a bright concept because it had a chill attitude behind it. They weren't trying to act like some cute little oo-woo girl, but they were just like, okay, we're doing a cute concept, you know, we're happy, we're fun, but like we're Girls' Generation. They didn't have to try hard. And that's what it's like when you just kind of are when you are. like. Yes, these companies have these idols sort of um, zhuzh up their personalities or clean it up a bit. However, for certain idols, you can tell that the way that they act is mostly just them with some tweaking. And those are the idols with the best stage presence because people always want to debate stage presence and all that. And a lot of it is just turned into acting. There aren't many idols, in my opinion, that just have it naturally within them. So they have to emulate something that fits them, which is completely fine, and they emulate those things very well. But it always hits different when an idol just is. And that's what girls' generation were. Like certain concepts like G and O, other groups couldn't pull off without looking cringy or um, a little bit awkward. People think that Forever One does not have a storyline. And it's sort of like, I mean, it's an anniversary comeback. Thank goodness it doesn't sound like an anniversary comeback. I will not say any names, but a group that has been releasing good music for the past two years released a anniversary, like, Japanese single. And, um, I mean, it sounds like we're popping champagne at the company function, but that's about it. People are saying that Forever One does not have a storyline. And it's sort of like, I mean, it's an anniversary comeback. Thank goodness. It doesn't sound like an anniversary comeback. I will not say any names, but a group that has been releasing good music for the past two years released a anniversary, like, Japanese single. And, um, I mean, it sounds like we're popping champagne at the company function, but that's about it. I still think Kura Kura is the best looking back on our careers single that they've had from their um, Japanese releases. Out of Kura Kura, the one where Momo was looking in a washing machine, but yeah, they all have their storylines. Yuri was acting and she's in front of recording cameras because she has her shows that she was doing. Soo Young, of course, acting and then like, I think she did some modeling, but she was mainly acting and just being a glamorous bitch. Yuna, of course, acting queen. That's why she got her shot with the animators, with the green screens, writing the scripts. She even has her projects out now. Yuri is filming now. Sayan, I don't, Sayan she was in a movie theater. I mean, no, she was in a musical theater. She was in a theater because she was doing a lot of theater, again, acting as well, but mainly focusing on theater. That's what, that's what her main focus was when she first left SM. And Tiffany's on a plane. She went to America to catch some vibes. Sunny, we, okay, we know that they had to get Sunny out of the house and sing. Like, they got her out of the house and she sang. That, that was great. 
So they just like put her in a limo because she is sunny. You know, Hyo was doing her DJ stuff, although I feel like honestly she's more prominent as a soloist. And I feel like she, out of all of the SNSD members, besides Tiffany's I Just Wanna Dance, Hyoyoung gets the bops. Like, she gets the boppiest bops. You know what I'm saying? Like, deep, deep. She came, she served, she died, she rose again, everybody praised her return, and then she served again.